you're watching 8-bit days a week and this is the PlayStation Classic running the RetroArch and so yeah I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different and this is just a recent thing I guess recently released so I decided to try it out it's for me loading games is easier using this one it's only the un initial configuration that will have like extra steps but they're not really that hard so let's go ahead and try out some games that are already present on the PlayStation Classic so we can see a comparison let's start with Tekken 3 and I left everything on default this is how e everything it is when you first load up uh, RetroArch Except for one thing, I disabled the software filtering because it's really terrible. Um, the, the blurriness that they try to add on. And as you can immediately tell, this is the US version. So no horrendous uh, slowdowns well except for the frame drops there I guess but it's still running much better than the underwater like experience of the stock PlayStation classic so it seems the PlayStation PlayStation classic it's perfectly capable of uh, running the stock games at a better frame rate but Sony just uh, I guess we're lazy and there you can see some minor um, slowdowns there so it's not perfect but it's still overall much better compared to the being perpetually underwater all the time that feeling at least in the PlayStation Classic stock version and um, the sounds are all normal the graphics smooth I mean not smooth but crispier <laughs> sharper at least as it can be which is great I love it actually <laughs> some may not I understand that I I hate the filtering so much that it's the first it's actually one of the big reasons why I tried this method and as I mentioned loading games is for me is much easier because you don't need to do any more of those uh, setting up the INI file you don't have to put a PNG file the picture of course those things are optional but uh, kind of necessary for f it's kind of necessary for your uh, game selection screen to look nice presentable but here I guess it's that's all moot as uh, we have the it looks uh, similar to the the, the cross-media bar look uh, we've seen in PSP and PS3 and since this is a PSC classic, I think they all gel well with a very nice uniform look. And yeah, other than the little slowdowns there, everything else still plays great. the lag well I'm pretty sure there's uh, there's lag but I don't feel it at 
that doesn't mean there is no lag. It's still digital anyway. Even for a fighting game that re requires precision button pressing, uh, like I said, I don't feel it. Ah, there's a little slow down there. So, the PlayStation Classic is getting better. It's getting more... I mean... You know, it, it just needs work. It's not an out-of-the-box system to be a good uh, device. Of course, um, you'll probably say that, you know, let's just get a RetroPie or something. Or a recall box. Or an SNES Classic. Since uh, some games apparently run better on the SNES Classic. Some PlayStation 1 games, that is. Better than the PlayStation Classic. Which is funny. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and try to load other games. I'm gonna press start and select here and we're taken to this screen, close content. Um, as this is a very recent thing, as I mentioned, uh, there are some little quirks, uh, bugs, issues, whatever. Um, for example, I cannot turn it off using the power button on the console. If I press it, nothing happens. I have to go to the RetroArch menu and say quit RetroArch. And as you can see here, I'm loading Resident Evil Director's Cut now. This is a US version, so everything will be faster. Faster than the stock version at least. And you can actually load, if you have a copy, yeah, you can actually load the uncensored director's cut. And I'll show you, it's not far from the game that you can immediately tell that you have the uncensored version. It's the part where you first see the, I mean, the first zombie. What is this? Wow. What a man okay. Well, their faces really look messed up. <laughs> of course, that's normal being a low polygon count. In the early days of 3D. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay. See, just by this scene alo alone, um, everything already felt feels faster. And all right, let's see. The dining room. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Wonderful. All right, here we go. And first cutscene.
See, you don't see that head fall down in the PlayStation Classic version. So it, they actually have the um, censored version, which is funny, being called a director's cut. Everything, I mean, most of the game still is the same. I suppose they didn't use this one because you don't have the analogs on the controller. But all right, yeah, that's just one of the advantages of using or modifying your PlayStation Classic. Of course, you don't actually need to have RetroArch doing that, but I decided to give it a go because, yeah, things are easier. That's why I'm okay with, uh, you know, replaying this the beginnings of this game again and forgetting about my resume point on the PlayStation Classic. Anyway, let's go ahead and try the other games. Um, and there, you actually see here that um, you can also load N64 games. I will probably try that soon. Since, since this is a, a PlayStation, I'll uh, try to stick to just PlayStation games. And here's what I'm mentioning earlier. This is the only way to turn off the console for me. Pressing the power button doesn't do anything on the console. All right, let's uh, try another game. Let's see, what else did I put here? Oh yeah, Ridge Razor Type 4. Let's see how it performs. I'm expecting this to be much better, but this is the first time I'm trying out it out. All right, we have the CG opening. That doesn't make sense anyway. I mean, why do we focus on the on Reiko? All right, the resolution changes is handled okay. So it can do 480i to 240p transition without any problems. And even here, if you're uh, observant enough, it's already running better. It's smoother. See those small transitions there. I, um, that's immediately noticeable in the PlayStation Classic that it's not really running smoothly. Optimal speed. Alright. Kill me. Uh, this is so much better. Anyway, you're practically running the same emulator. Just a variation of it, at least. So it's kind of it's kind of bad that uh, Sony did not use any other emulator. They have PlayStation One emul emulators, you know, like for example, the one running on PSP or even PS3. Those are just emulation, software emulation to run the uh, older games. It's not. I mean, there is no like miniature PlayStation 
hardware inside those consoles anyway. And uh, those versions are perfectly capable. It's unfortunate they didn't use those since honestly they're much much better. So if you're going to play these games on a PlayStation Classic, you know, might as well use this uh, the RetroArch using the PCSX rearm core. Configuring things are much easier. Like there, for example, I'm able to disable the software filtering. You can reconfigure your buttons locations per game mind you <laughs> just need to save settings right now it's just on the early really or be better early release so things will get better definitely you can also add overlays there if you have I don't I usually don't like those uh, overlay things anyway and all right there you go all right let's try another game closing content there i don't think i need to be loading core every time but i guess kind of force of habit there uh, so that's why I keep doing that I apologize and see here I have a uh, Toshin Den and it's um, like a multiple bin file with a single queue file of course and let's see if it can handle that this is a USA version of course so we can finally have it on a Decent speed. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot. I should be choosing Cayenne, not AG. All right. And yeah. Well, the game is not that great. But let's just say I have uh, nostalgic memories for this. And multiple bin files are handled okay. I mean, I can hear the music. Of course, if you, uh, I noticed that if you have the multiple bin files, those are the ones that you can play on a CD player and you're gonna actually hear tracks from the game. And of course, Sony usually says you shouldn't do that. No wow, that's faster than normal. <laughs> and to remind you, this is on frame skip zero. The frame skip is a solid 60 there. I mean, the frames per second. So, as you'll notice, this game is already slow to begin with. That's why it's much frustrating on the PlayStation Classic that you're running on the PAL version, making things even slower. So, okay. Some glitches there, I guess. They all perform the winning pose faster than normal. Maybe I should lear uh, load the Japanese version since I think the voices there sound better, less annoying I guess. Alice of course, master of strings. Let's see if I can perform the... 
Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the desperation attack when your health bar is flashing red there. And yeah, this is good stuff. Um, not to torture you anymore with that game, since I know not there's not a lot a lot of uh, fans on that one. Let's try just one more or two. Let's see if I have enough time. Food content, start directory. And choosing media will let you open the your USB drive there. This is the actual contents of my USB drive. All right, we try a touch and then, oh yeah, here. You can actually also run the PSP versions. Hmm, I wonder if there's a PSP core that we can try soon. And it didn't load, okay. Probably my copy. So, yeah, once again, I guess it's not 100%, but as I mentioned, you're supposed to be able to load some PSP versions. I was able to try out uh, Street Fighter EX, the PSP version, before uh, l yesterday. So, s probably some work, some don't. And when this happens, uh, my only choice is actually to just pull the power on the console itself. So it might be risky, it might be breaking your unit. So it's up to you whether you modify it or not. I think it's okay. But don't expect perfect performance right now. Well, at least it's usable, playable. And I did have fun. And that's it for this video, I guess. I'm already stuck here. I need to uh, find a way to turn off the console now. And thanks for watching. I'll be back. I'll try out more games. See you soon. Oh yeah, please like, do comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.